Chapter 4, Field Trip The next morning... All right, so we don't actually wake up to a cutscene. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, though, or there's gonna be a cutscene right here. Yep, I guess so. Hmm, what is that? A note from Nuzleaf? Michael begins to read Nuzleaf's note. Michael, I'm sure sorry about this. Something real urgent came up, and I reckon we gotta head out right away. I'll probably be away for a few days, so I'm afraid you'll have a place all yourself for a while. I'll have plenty of food, so you shouldn't have any worries on that. So steer clear of them behem and don't go skipping school. And looks like I'm gonna be on my own for a while. Or I probably just said N. Whatever. Michael, good morning. That sounds like Jake. Okay, so welcome to episode four, of Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. Last episode, we kind of got tricked into a dangerous dungeon by Shelmet and Pancham, and we took down a nasty Gabite. And really, we got to find out more about uh, Jake and really what his goals are. And finally, we start. I feel like I start to appreciate him more. Cause you know how I first thought he was annoying, stuff like that. But no, he's starting to, you know, he's getting a little better. And I really like it now. I like this Jake now. So yeah, if you enjoy this episode or you're hyped for this game, be sure to hit that like button. It really does help me out a lot. So let's go right out. There you are, Michael. Good morning. I thought I'd come meet you since we live so close. Let's walk to school together. Sure, why not? It's kind of fun like this. Until you came, Michael, I used to always walk to school by myself. Good morning, Vice Principal. Good morning. Oh, this is a troublemaker. You're not even late today. This is quite a turn of events. Yeah, because he's by us, because we're the cool guy. And we like to get him to places on time because he likes us. <laughs> Good morning, dearly. Oh, uh, yeah, morning. Well, met my friend Shelmet. Wow, you're just annoying as ever. And we're not friends. Morning, Panch. Oh, stay back. Oh, you're irritating. I can hardly breathe with you all over me. It's hot enough these days without you hanging all over me. Eh, uh, there you go. Guess he didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good morning, Esper and Gumi. Oh, jeez. Okay, you want to save? Um, no, because I just started. <laughs> okay, what's going on here? All right, class, it's time. That's the bell. Time for the class to begin. Yes, sir! Today we'll be taking on a little field trip. All right! Field trip? Yeah, our field trip, our class visits a dungeon. Yeah, uh, normal field trip, you know, we get on a bus, you know, go somewhere special. But no, when we're in the Pokemon world, our field trips are dungeons. Okay, that is interesting. Everybody goes on adventures together. Attention, please, no talking out of turn. You better listen to the instructions. Now, let me see. Ahem. Today, we'll be visiting the school forest. We'll reach the school forest from this path. We've left flags deep inside the forest. Bring one back and you pass today's lesson. What, we, what do you mean a lesson? We didn't even do anything. Okay, whatever. How are we going to form teams, Teach? Yeah, I'm Michael here now. We got an extra Pokemon. Teams? Each team is made up of three Pokemon. It's not fun going alone, but having too many Pokemon on a team can get chaotic. Three people per team is pretty much the right number for exploring dungeons. So I guess they probably got rid of the four, because you know, in, in the older games they had it so you can have, you can bring four team members. I think that was, uh, I think they threw that one out the window. Maybe I have no idea. All right, I selected today's teams. Today one will be made up of Pancham, Shelmet, and Deerling. Team will be Gumi, Jake, and Michael. What? I'm with Pancham and Shelmet. <laughs> All right, we looked out this time. We got to be with Deerling. <laughs> Let's do this, Deerling. Oh, okay, I guess I got no choice. It's for the schoolwork after all. And hey, Mr. Farfetched, I'm, I'm too... You'll be in charge of operations, Esper. Everyone will need to work together to clear this dungeon. That's why i like you to stay here and use your telepathy to help support each team. I understand. We're on the same team! This is great! Gumi, I know I've always been messing... I've always messing up and causing you trouble, but this time I'll be different. You'll see. Yeah, I hope so. All right then, children, shall we begin? The theme for today's class will be the mastering the use of items. I'll pass out item boxes in just a moment. These items belong to the school. I'll have you hand over any items you're carrying for the duration of the class. 
Don't worry though, your items will be kept safe in the deposit box. You only need to use the item provided in the item box I will give you. I will assist you in clearing the dungeon successfully. Now, please pick a representative from each team to collect your t item boxes. You don't mind if I go get the items, right? Right? Yeah, I don't care. So, Jake dropped all your items with Mr. Farfetch. Yeah, he's probably going to mix everything around. I won't get all my stuff back. And Jake picked up a box of school-provided items in return. All right, boys and girls. Do your best. We'll clear this dungeon in no time. There's no way we're losing to Michael and them after all. See a bunch of slowpoke. Uh, that's an insult in the Pokemon world. A very bad one. Let's hurry up and get going too. It's time to explore the school forest. Watch. We're probably going to have to fight them at the end. We'll get into a school fight or something. And we're going to go right in. Let me see what... Can we get the items? I'm going to see what items I have. Okay, we got three apples, max elixir, three orange berries... Three driver seeds, a roll call orb, slumber orb, progress device. Thank you. So now we can save in a dungeon. That's pretty cool. And stay away wand. Okay, warps Pokemon somewhere in slumber wand. Okay, this, this is cool. I like it. So we got some pretty good items with us. So let's move on. Let's go. Let's enter the school forest. All right, let's give it our best shot. School forest. One floor. <laughs> Not one floor. Floor one. So, okay, looks like we got ourselves a uh, guy to fight right Okay, let me see. Um, let's see, let's go like this and just let him come over. Or water gun the thing, that's fine. Oh, they both have water gun. That is not good. Oh. Oh, snap! Dude! Oh, my gosh! Uh, yeah, use it on me, please. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh! Wow! What the? That sucked! Oh my gosh! Oh, hey, electric type. You know what? We'll take this thing on and get Ember some power. Actually, this is a. Oh, increased damage. Okay, good. No! Oh my goodness, paralysis. Why? And we'll quick attack and finish this guy off. There we go. Oh, geez. Well, we're already at the stairs, so let's go up the stairs. Because, yes, yeah, so we're trying to go the shortest routes possible, you know. Of course, some of these times we're going to need to, you know. Oh, got a tiny reviver. See, that's real nice. I like that. But, yeah. Oh, um, I pushed you. Sorry, sorry, buddy. Um, I will go for a number. And we miss. Perfect. Oh, Gumi has bubble. I didn't even know it could carry bubble. Okay, well, it's dealing about the same amount of damage as we are, so that's pretty good. Okay, bubble. Oh, my goodness. Okay, okay, he took it. Okay. Looks like the uh, AI in this game is pretty decent. I mean, it took a hit for me that I could have died to. That's really cool. I'm... Oh. Oh, snap. Oh, no. Moving back. Okay. We we have to have some... Wait, can we use any of these? Like, these, like, wands from far away? Let's wave it. Oh. Shoot. Okay. It works at anywhere. Okay, okay. There's a... Yeah. I'm trying to get behind my... Okay, really, it doesn't matter. It looks like we'll get support no matter what. Low kick. And that does not go down, but Bubble does finish it off. Wow. Dang. I'm, I'm, my team is just amazing. Okay. Let's see. Let's growl. Try to lower this thing's attack. There we go. Now, I'm not as concerned about this. And Bubble. Ah, uh, we missed. Oh, well. Wow, Tackle would have done a lot more if we... <laughs> If, you know, we didn't, you know, uh, if we didn't use Growl. So, let's see. Me and Fu picked up an apple. We're just going to move on to the next floor. I believe there are nine floors. I decided to do some research because at some point, I have a feeling that I want to start speeding up dungeons. It just depends on, uh, I'm just concerned about, I don't want these videos going too long. And, yeah, that's where I'm, that's where I'm getting this mindset from. And would you guys like to see me speed up dungeons? Just because, you know, it does save some time, and you can see what all the... I mean, basically, the whole dungeon's randomized anyways. So, I'm just wondering if you guys want to see me, you know... Okay, dude! Get behind me! Okay. But no, I'm just curious if you guys just want me to speed it up or not. Because I just don't... I don't I feel like uploading, like, 40-minute videos and stuff when the dungeons get long, and it's like, ooh, that's not good. Oh! 
Um, yeah, tiny reviver seed. <laughs> what the? Okay. That that was scary. Um, yeah. Dang. Okay, okay, so it looks like solid rock makes it so it cannot... Okay, let's go for ember. Wow, that does a lot more damage. Holy crap. I know low kick's not stab until torture evolves, but still, man, wow. Okay, so we're about halfway done, I would think. Bzz, bzz, bzz. What the... Hmm, what was that? Jake, Michael, Gumi, you hear me? Oh, it's the Esper. Thanks to her telepathy, Esper can communicate with others from a distance. Yeah, Esper, we can hear you. Seems like you're all doing fine. Keep in touch with you like this from time to time during your adventure. Okay, great. We'll be listening for you. How are Panchime and those guys doing? Are they ahead of us? Yeah, I managed to reach them a little while ago. From what they said, it sounds like they're pretty far ahead of you. I see. Good to know. But we're not going to lose them. Let's pick up the pace, team. Uh, I'm not sure if I can pace, if the pace can be a bit higher than this. I have no idea if I can keep up. Yeah, I'm trying to make them sound weak. Don't worry, I know he can do it. There'll be no problem. We can get through this dungeon either way, so we might be as well be the first. You guys think the same thing, right? Let's go. Okay, let's go get pumped. Floor five. I swear, they're probably going to try to fight us when we... Wait, is mine? Okay, it looks like they don't, like, uh, refu like refill our bellies going through. But whatever. Oh, we got some money. And we got some orange berry. Okay, just let me through. Thank you, Jake. I don't know how I feel about that pushing thing. It just doesn't seem something that's real good. Oh, okay, good. I thought he was going to hit me several times and that would have been scary. Oh, lo okay, low kick upgraded. That's really cool. And absorb finishes it off. Wow, Gumi, you are... Oh, snap. Jake, level eight. Learn a new move. Let's see what he's going to learn. Learn rage. Not feeling that one. Sorry, buddy. You're not learning rage. Man, I just noticed Totodile has some really good moves for starting off. Holy crap. That's awesome. Okay, got an elixir. And let's move down this way. Is there anything? Okay, there's a tyrant right here. Well, let's just low kick. Water gun. Come on, bubble. Yes, I love the combo. Oh, roar. Okay, so we just hit. Okay, we just hurt each other there. Um, what's Ember? There you go. Get that. Just get that a little more powerful. Okay, just let me through. Thank you. And what is this? A warp wand. Well, you know what? let's fight this thing. Let's do a slumber wand and wave it at it. Boom. And we should be all set. Uh, let's ember. So I, I think they added that move, like that, those kind of items into the game, just because you know they want to make sure people yeah uh, get more strategic with items, and I, I kind of like that. Okay, let me see. It looks like uh, Jake is low on his uh, PP for water gun, so let's go and give it to Jake. So I think it gets like half of its PP back. I don't know, something like that. But we're on the sixth floor now. Let's go. Got some items. Rossberry and a trap bust bo uh, orb. I don't know what that does. Let's see. No, okay. Oh, I thought he was going to... Okay. Um, you can do that. Don't use water gun though. Oh, gosh. Fine. Do your thing. Just kill him. Okay, you just wasted probably like half of your PP for water gun. Good job, Jake. That Why would you do that? Ah, <sighs> whatever. Oh, there's that tyrant. Uh-huh. Kind of want to... Ah! Stop using all your water gun. Use a different move. <laughs> okay, low kick. Fine, use it all up. Whatever. There we go. And we got another elixir. Um, yeah, let's... Let's pick that up and... Oh, we can't... Sorry. That's not what I meant to do. Let's swap. There we go. And we will get rid of... I guess that trap bust orb. I don't think we need that. Oh, I see. I think I understand what trap uh, trap bust orbs do. I think once we get further into the game, there'll be some traps. And we're going to probably... Uh, probably tells you where all the traps are so we don't have to worry about them, which is not too bad. Okay. So there's good... Okay, that's good right there. Nope, I don't want to move out and get this money first because, yeah, money makes the world go around. You know, might as well pick it up. Okay, floor number seven. Okay, we got ourselves another elixir. Hmm, let's drink this. Let's see, who really needs it the most? I guess Jake. Let's give it to Jake. So it has more water gun because it seems to like to use water gun a lot. So, whatever. I'm fine with that. 
Oh, I'm getting hungry. Shoot. Okay, I'm at 20. So let's just eat an apple. That'll give us about 50 in our stomach. Or actually, it gives us exactly that. Okay. And... Okay, there's a few Pokemon here we can fight. Eh, let's fight it. Okay, so we got a Bulborb. Not a Bulb. Yeah, Voltorb. Durr. Okay. And, okay, Ember. And it became more powerful. Awesome. Sonic Boom misses. And Water Gun. Oh, I like the range. Oh, that range, though. Eerie Impulse. What's that? Ooh. That was not cool. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. I think this the end of the dungeon's right here. No, it is not. But we can pick up... Oh. Dude! Um, no, um... Um, Jake, come on, back alive. You got this. Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> Kill it. Oh, gosh, that keeps missing. Okay, quick to hit. Okay. Whew, that was scary. Mike grew level 9. Man, two Pokemon... I mean, Jake has died twice in one, in one dungeon. Yikes. Oh, yeah, our special attack dropped. So let's... Yeah, let's do that. We'll have both of them attack. Dang it! Stop that! Okay, we're really doing nothing to this Voltorb. Okay, what we're gonna do is let's... I mean, our attack is lowered, but let's go for Ember. Oh! Dude! Woohoo! Okay. Looks like there's a... Uh, what you call it coming? Die! Oh my goodness! Woohoo! Okay, take out. Take that Voltorb out! Um, yes, use it on Gumi. Gumi, please, thank you. I appreciate that. And no! Just take it out! Oh! Oh, man. Oh. Take that. Okay, thank you. And my ember is gone. Great, excellent. Ah, oh, critical hit. Yikes. Okay. Let's just bring... Okay, why would you do that? Move back here. Thank you. Oh, man. I'm getting... I'm having a little bit of trouble here. Okay, okay. Our eight, okay, our PP keeps going down to zero, so that's lovely. Uh, okay, so now I'm about to die. That's great. Do we have anything? Okay, yes, we do. We have an orange berry, and we don't have any... We have a max elixir. Let's give that... Let's give that to me. Because I'm going to be attacking most of the time. And let's see. Do we have... Okay, we have a couple elixirs. So... Yeah, let's give one to Jake. Oh, I see. Water Gun only has like 10 PP. Oh. Uh. No! Okay. Ugh. Gosh dang it. These Pokemon just love to attack. And it's like, can you just let me go? Thank you. Uh, let's not take that one on. Thank you, Jake, for being smart. And, okay. Here we are, to the 8th floor! Our belly is at 38. Lovely. Okay, let's go for a... Yeah, low kick. Ooh, Thundershock. That, that's a little scary. Alright, there we go. And let's see. Okay, there's an item over here. Let's pick that up. I don't know what it is, but... Okay, it looks like he went and got it automatically. That's cool. Thanks, Jake. That must be something new they added into the game, too. Because, yes, the AI has never been that good. So let's go and move on. Oh, I guess that's the end of the dungeon right here. I think we're pretty far into the forest now. We still haven't reached the goal. <sighs> oh, look at that. Looks like the tree's clear up out there. Let's go check it out. This place looks a bit different from the clearings we've been passing through. Maybe. We're just getting close to the goal. What? Where's Gumi? What the? You're right. Gumi's not here. Where do you wander off to? Oh, no. What the? This is Esper here. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, Esper. Where are you guys now? I could be wrong, but I think we're pretty close to the goal. Really? Well, congratulations on that. Seems like you may have gotten there before Pancham and his team, huh? Really? Yes, the last time I contacted him, they didn't even seem to get that far along yet. You must have passed him by some point or another. Really? Awesome! Alright, might as well just win this one. Let's get going. No, what the... We're missing Gumi! Oh. Where'd he go? 
Oh, no, we're probably going to get ambushed. No, okay, why would we do that? We're going to get penalized or something. We're going to get suspended. And, okay. Look, over there. You think that could be the flag that Mr. Farfetch was talking about? There are two of them. So that means we're really the first team to make it here. Sounds true, but most importantly... What, Gumi? Oh, yeah, he did want to arrive at some point, didn't he? He's a bit worrisome. Looks like we arrived someplace. Oh, we got to be close to the flag. Now, it's Benjamin Sullivan. We got to hurry and get the flag. <laughs> Ah! All right, we clear the dungeon first. We're gonna have to fight them. Gah! Too bad for you guys. We are number one today. Ha <laughs> ha! Ha ha! Yes. So you lost Gumi. Yeah. And where's Gumi now? Back in the dungeon somewhere, I guess. You're useless. What were you two thinking? I'm gonna go look for him right now. Jake's team cleared the dungeon first. Well done on that accomplishment. However, I cannot praise you for leaving a team member behind. Uh, heh <laughs> Let me tell you what I think about it. The members of the team should go after one another. They work towards their goal together while caring for each other. Perhaps there's even more than clearing a dungeon. <laughs> so that's enough standing around and moping. Gooby may be still lost in there. Why don't we go look for him? Yes, sir. Wait a minute. They probably had something to do with it. Mr. Farfetch, I'd like to go search as well. They probably did something. Yeah, they're they're all laughing and stuff. They probably did something to Gumi. And so the school day ended and after school. I'm glad we finally found Gumi before anything happened to him, but boy, I really messed things up again. All I can do is think about being first to clear the dungeon, nothing else mattered. Hey Michael, do you ever think I'm irritating? Yeah, sometimes. Huh? Pancho and Shelman are always telling me I'm annoying or whatever. Today's the first day something like this has happened. I feel like I cause trouble for everyone around me, so Michael, what do you think? Do you really think I'm irritating too? Hmm, what should I say? No, I'll, I think you can be, but I don't... I, I want to be nice, so I don't think you are. That's not true. I'm just as much as to blame for what happened with Gumi today, but still. It's true that you drag others into bad situations without thinking. I guess it might end up with others feeling troubled sometimes. But you better just keep trying other people's feelings... Uh, keep other people's feelings in mind. All right, now I've got to get the idea across to Jake somehow. What? Really? I see. I see. Yeah, you're right. I, I, I'm always rushing ahead on my own without thinking about other people. <clears throat> Seems like I may have made things even worse. I knew it. I know I've messed up everything up, but I ruined everything. Sorry, Michael, for being such a pain. I'll try to be more careful from now on. Oh dear, I didn't think my words would hit Jake quite so hard. It's hard to get your feelings across to others sometimes. Life lesson, folks, in Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. <laughs> Here to arise, feelings of discontent, the power. I can feel it growing. Well, snap. Maybe that's what Rayquaza was worried about. Someone, and there's some other thing out there that is harming the whole world. Well, hopefully we find out soon what that is. But anyways, that's going to be the end of this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, be sure to go check out Provictine, his channel. While he's doing his Let's Play of Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. While he's also doing a giveaway for a copy of the game. And yeah, I'm, I'm definitely considering of doing a giveaway as well. But it just depends on... I mean, just on results on this uh, uh, on this Let's Play. It's just that I can't necessarily afford to get another copy right now. But if I really see some real good progress, I mean, like, if I can see some real improvement on views and stuff, you know, it really does help, and I can maybe afford a copy for a giveaway. So, yeah, be sure to keep watching these videos, keep liking them, and subscribe if you're new. And, yeah, see you guys next time for some more Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon.